be a super fast video because I only have a little bit of space left on my desk. But today's video is going to be a sock bun hair tutorial. If you guys have me on Instagram, I posted a picture a few weeks ago of my DIY sock bun and it's super, super easy and it's literally the most simple way I've ever found to do it because I'm not very coordinated with my hands and I can't like pull the sock bun down and all that stuff. So let's get started. So what you're going to need is a bunch of bobby pins and either a scrunchie or a rubber band. You can use a scrunchie like this, something that's not very thick because it's not going to show. And it's going to be better for your hair too, so that's a plus. If you guys remember the really ugly buns that we all used to do in like elementary and middle school when we thought we were cool, that's what we're going to do today. When I, so when I show you, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. You're just going to pull your hair in one of those buns. So I'm sure you guys remember. And I usually like to do this on my hair when it's more scrunched because it gives it more texture. But all you're going to do is take your bobby pins and you're going to pull the bun around and pin it down. So you're going to do that all around your head. I don't know if I'll have enough space on my disc to do it. But you're just going to do it like this. If your hair is straight, you can tease it a little bit to add some texture. But you're just going to do that all the way around your head and just pin it down. And this is super, super easy. This usually takes me like five minutes. And when my hair is scrunched, it's so much easier. And it looks so much better than when it's straight. So it's also good for those days when your hair is greasy or oily or it just won't do anything. So if you want it to be more tight or more loose, just kind of squeeze it. And then if you want it to be more loose at the top, just kind of pull it out. I usually like to pull some sides down, but I'm going to go check out the back because I usually have to take a mirror to get the back of it. So I'm going to go do that so I don't waste any more of my time on here and I'll be right back. So I checked the back. I didn't get it perfect because I am in a hurry, but it looks really, really cute. There's what it looks like. If you have any stray hairs, just pin them back into the bun. They won't show. But I kind of like when the stray hairs kind of fall out make it a little more messy. I don't like a perfect sleek bun. But this is what it looks like. It's super easy, super fast. It's great for those days when you don't feel like doing anything or your hair just won't do anything. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial. I'll post pictures of my hair in the thumbnail. And try it out. Let me know how it works for you. And I'll see you in my next video.